inspiration from the rich cultural landscape surrounding them. Beyond academics, Rujbi finds solace in the written word, both crafting and consuming captivating narratives. A lover of literature, Rujbi's interests extend to music and travel. With a melodious voice, they bring life to lyrics to, to, to stop song. Traveling too holds a special place as Rujbi seeks out new stories and perspectives. Notably, Rujbi played a lead role in the short film Kirti, recognized as a top 20 selection at the Dada Saheb Falke International Film Festival. We are going to interview Rujbi about her passion and her book to inspire all our young readers here who are passionate about writing and can also explore writing a book. And to interview her, let me invite Mr. Vikas Kumar, founder of LOTAC, a fintech startup. Vikas sir is a marathoner, cyclist, successfully completed half Iron Man, is the co-founder of Pune Running, co-authored a book on startups and loves being with children. Hello. Hello. Hi, Rujvi. Hi. I'm honored. To be, I, I love people who write books, right? And I know that sheer effort it takes to write a book. Uh, so when I saw her book, uh, Yesterday, I started reading that. Luckily, it was a thin book, so I was not too worried. Uh, but the fun part was that the moment I started it, I actually completed the book at one shot. It was so gripping, and I could not imagine that, you know, it had been written by a teenager. I, uh, the way it was presented, it was, it, it just came out too brilliantly. So, uh, it's an honor to, you know, sit with Rujvi and ask her, so Rujvi, uh, you know, I'm always curious, you know, there's so many things to do. What, what motivates or what inspires somebody to write a book at your age? So actually, uh, before answering your question, I was actually into all right that I uh, there is actually an author <laughs> at nine years old. I actually felt old when uh, he told that he's just nine years old. It's uh, really great to be here right now. So, uh, you know, there are so many small children and their achievements. I feel like, what was I doing at that time? <laughs> but then, uh, my inspiration was my sister and my mom, actually. <laughs> you know, during COVID time, we had nothing to do. We had online classes. And all we did was binge watch every other TV series that we found. Each and every. And uh, during those times, I really felt that I wanted to change something in those stories. Like, my friend, like, something is not right. I told my mom about it and my sister. So they're like, you should write your own story if you want. Because uh, I was complaining too much <laughs> about every movie we were watching. And uh, they inspired me and they were encouraging me throughout this journey. So thank you so much. A lot of us wasted all our time doing it. <laughs> right? I think some people were smarter. Okay, that's interesting. So, uh, tell me a bit about the book, you know. Is there any character? How did you draw the inspiration for the characters? Is there any character you like in that? Right? What exactly is going around? Well, actually, all the characters in my books are my friends. I just changed their name so that they don't know it. <laughs> And uh, one of the characters, Arumi, in the book, I, she's actually someone I want to become myself. I really feel connected to her and I feel like someday I'll be like her. So uh, when I read the book, I realized the book is a lot about friendship and connections between the kids. And uh, there's a lot of mention, there's a lot of uh, conflict, friendship. So you dabbled a lot in the friendship. Uh, uh, why is that? You see, uh, these days, you know, uh, everyone's best friend is their phone. They always have it, they have everything on it. And 
I have read, uh, you know, seen many books about teenagers that always love stories. And I think this age is not for love stories, it's rather for friendship, how we fight, we don't talk for some days, we shout at each other, and then the next day we talk like normal. There is, we have to get that connection, and our phone is something that, uh, you know, haunts us each time. We, we need human friends rather than our phone, right? So that is the reason why I have focused on friendship. Yeah, there was one thing I really found interesting in this book, you know, when you typically read books, a lot of it is you, uh, you don't believe in it, right? You, uh, they talk about endless love and everything is perfect, but that's not real. What I really liked about in this book is the fact that the friends were fighting, right? Then they were patching up again, right? That's what actually happens in real life, right? So somehow, you know, this book is much more connected to real life than many of the other books I've read, honestly. Uh, which we, uh, you know, you have a lot of passion, music, writing, within that, you know, book. So did you derive any inspiration from these other passions or is this like totally separate? No, I think it's totally separated. Because it's not something I did intentionally, right? It just came to me. It, I was not intentional that, oh, I have to do this or that. Every time I, you know, do my passions, for example, music, it just comes on in, you know, just like that. There is no equation that, oh, one, I'm going to do this, the next, I'm going to do that. It just comes on in the flow, and that is how the book came out. What is, is there any message? What, what, what do you feel the reader should take away from this book? Is there anything you want to tell them? Is there an inspiration out there in this book? Yeah, I think there are two things that the reader can take away from this book. Is that friendship actually has a very big place in our life and we should give importance to it. And we should uh, give less time to our techno world and let's not be attached to it. I think that's a... Excellent message given the fact that I'm a struggle with typing every day. <laughs> I think somewhere, if the kids are feeling themselves that, you know, uh, the offline world and friends and all that is much more real than online, I think there is hope still there. <laughs> right. uh, I think the last question I have, I was quite surprised, you know, when I was reading the book, suddenly to see, uh, to be continued at the end, I was like, where is the end end at then suddenly there was a to be continued. So why did you decide to write a, a part book and continue the book later? Uh, and uh, what was the thought behind that? So actually I could not finish the book at that time because I, I, I have to start my 11th college. And I wrote the book during the time I just finished my boards. And at that time I really had a free time. But then during this process, I could not finish the book and I'm thinking that I'm going to finish this book after 12 because then I'm going to have a lot of time. So you mean when you started, you wanted to actually complete the book? Yeah, yeah. I and did. then you suddenly realized that you didn't have time. <laughs> That's actually a brilliant strategy. <laughs> it's like <laughs> you suddenly realize that you don't have time, so you just say to be continued. And then after a year, you write the rest of it. Amazing. Thanks, uh, thanks Ujvi for being there. Uh, it's a brilliant book. I suggest that all of you all should read it. And it's a thin book, so you can actually read it in one shot. Thanks, Ujvi. Thank you so much. Felicitate Ujvi for her successful book launch.